When it gets hot, your dog might start to show more signs of being warm, including panting and laying down more. Hey, I'm Vanessa from Dogs Naturally, and today I want to go over if you should shave your dog's fur in the summer. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification. If your dog has a thick double coat, when temperatures rise, you might be tempted to shave off all that extra fur. But you shouldn't, and I'll tell you why. Many dogs are double coated, and these coats are designed to protect your dog from different weather they may encounter. And these coats can adapt to the warmer temperatures by shedding the soft undercoat, leaving the guard hairs that cool her skin. Double coats are special because they grow to a length and don't get any longer, so shaving. It changes the coat texture. If you've ever shaved your double coated dog, you probably notice her coat starts to grow in pretty quickly. Unfortunately, what happens next is the undercoat grows back first. The undercoat is that soft, fuzzy fur that stays next to the skin and keeps your dog warm. Then the guard hairs start growing back and you'll start seeing them mixed in with the fluffy undercoat. As her coat starts growing back, you'll notice the texture of the new double coat coming in doesn't feel the same as it did before. It's almost sticky and Velcro-like. When your dog goes outside, she will likely come in with burrs, seeds, grass, twigs, and whatever other plant life she passes stuck to her coat. The combination of the soft undercoat growing with the guard hairs will also make your dog hot in the summer because the undercoat stops the air from getting to her skin and prevents the natural cooling process. The texture of the undercoat also absorbs the sun's rays and contributes to overheating. And in winter, the new sticky texture of her regrown coat means the undercoat will be more likely to mat, which can cause skin irritations like hot spots. But then how do you keep your dog cool in the heat? Shaving doesn't keep your dog cool. What's supposed to happen is that your dog sheds her undercoat in the summer leaving the guard hairs to provide your dog with insulation and allowing cool air to circulate near her skin. The guard hairs also prevent your dog from getting sunburned. Many double-coated dogs have pale pink skin, especially the northern breeds. And just like a pale-skinned human, they're more susceptible to sunburn. The guard hairs reflect the sun's rays, protecting the skin from the sun. So if your dog has a thick double coat and she still has her undercoat in the summer, you might think that getting rid of the whole lot of it will help keep her cool, but it won't. First of all, whatever fuzzy coat is left after shaving will prevent cool air from getting to the skin, but the shaved coat also lets the sun through to the skin. This exposes her to the danger of overheating, sunburn, and potentially even skin cancer. So what's the best way to keep your dog cool? Well, the best way to help your double-coated dog stay cool in the summer is to take her to a groomer. Ask them to bathe her and then blow out the undercoat with the high power dryer. Most will also use a tool like a rake to help remove the coat. Just be careful about your choice of groomer and make sure she knows you don't want her to shave your dog. Talk to the groomer who will be working on your dog and make sure she has experience with double coated dogs and doesn't believe in shaving. Now I want to share four tips to help keep your dog cool. One, carry water. It's really smart to carry water for your dog on summer walks. You can buy doggy water bottles with a special lid that doubles as a drinking cup, and there are also portable water bowls that you can refill from a regular water bottle or drinking fountain. If you see your dog panting heavily and her tongue getting wider, make sure you offer her water. Two, monitor her activity. Some dogs who love playing games like fetch will do it all day without realizing they're getting too hot. Watch for signs your dog should stop for a drink and rest. Three, let her get wet. Buy a kitty pool for your backyard so your dog can cool off. Or take her to natural environments where she can play in a river, creek, pond, or lake. Or dig in a muddy riverbank to cool off. Yes, she'll get wet and filthy, but she can enjoy hours of hot weather activity without overheating. Fourth is indoor cooling. Air conditioning and fans will of course help your dog stay cool indoors. A lot of dogs will choose to lie on a cool tile floor instead of a bed or rug in warm weather or even right on the AC vent. Now that you have some tips on keeping your double-coated dog cool, please share this video with someone who may not know how beneficial a double coat is. And if you would like more tips and tricks, please visit www.dogsnaturallymagazine.com for more. Thanks for watching.